Ah, the matchmaking system. How wonderful it is indeed. Uh, this video is just going to be talking about the account level system. My team here had a total account level of 1,726. The enemy team had an account level of 4,030. That's the most enemy team's ever had, I've ever seen. Uh, is up 4,000 total account level. And they had a total account level advantage over my team of 2,304. That's the most I've ever had as well. Usually, sometimes in the thousand something range. And the enemy team, they were really bad. I've also seen, well, I've also been in games where the enemy teams got a thousand plus account level on my team and they crushed my team. This match here, my team had total account level of 3,500, 3,359. Enemy team, 1,598. My team had an account level advantage of 1,761 and my team lost. I had zero kills. This was actually the next game after that Zool screenshot I took. I had zero kills. I had three deaths. I had most siege damage and most XP contribution. I had two teammates who died ten times and another teammate who died nine times. And the other one died five or six times. Maybe seven. Well, five to seven times. Some, I think it was like five times, maybe six. But whatever. And that murdering right there, that account level 6 murdering, is a fucking smurf. The only way that that murdering, the way that person played, he or she played, wasn't a smurf, is either A, they're an extremely quick learner, or B, they've played other MOBAs, and they're good at it. Otherwise, there's no fucking way an account level 6 murdering would play that way. Absolutely not. So, Smurf. And if it's a Smurf, they're probably in voice. See, that's the thing about the whole matchmaking when people are in groups. The matchmaking system doesn't know when two people or five people are grouped up if they're in voice or not. So, you know, how does it decide all this other shit? And, you know, I've had... What can I say? I've had a huge advantage over the enemy team at total account levels. And I've crushed the enemy team. And have been crushed. And vice versa. Enemy team's got a huge account level for my team. We crush them. Or we get crushed. You know, some of account level 1000 playing Tracer for the first time isn't going to be presumably that good at Tracer. They could be right off the bat really good at Tracer. But generally speaking they're not going to be. But you can't tell me some of account level 1000 playing Tracer the first time is going to be equal to someone with account level 1 playing Tracer for the first time. Because presumably, some of account level 1000 got that way, not playing AI games and not paying attention to what they're doing. You know, they've got experience, they know how to play the game, all this shit. So that takes in a factor. So how exactly do you factor in, you know, you got total player, account level, but, or their account levels, their, you know, whatever. Um, should they do individual? They should, should they also show on here their individual player account level? Oh, this... This hero is level 15 or level 1. Oh, this holy shit, they've got count level 10,000 on their team. Oh, but this is the first time they're player level 1 on that hero. So, okay. You know, so you should watch out for them, but they're not maybe be as good. Because when I see some of a count level 1,000 on my team, I don't know how to take that. You know, they've got a lot of experience, but how much experience do they have on said hero? Because having a total count level doesn't necessarily translate to all your heroes because you know different classes this and that and talent changes all the time there's all this shit so you know matchmaking well especially for hero league what I've wanted matchmaking to be based off I suppose well quick match is a clusterfuck anyways like I'd rather just have quick matches just as long as it's not always so fucking dumb but based off of first when you get matched up with someone you do your average deaths per game and then you go based off how much XP contribution are you doing every 10 games you know every 10 games are you managing only get 5,000 XP per game but you die zero times per game so okay they're good at not feeding but also they're not very good at contributing either type of thing right? so first you know if I'm gonna have someone who's gonna die like I had two people who died 10 times well you know what the enemy team should have and let's just say they always average 10 deaths per game right the enemy team should have someone who died 10 times. Take one of my 10 death hero per 
for teammates to over there so it balances out the deaths, at least that way. That type of shit. But quick match, that's your early quick match, yeah. Like I said, it's a clusterfuck. I just want quick matches, just as long as it's not always so lopsided and shitty. But it's so, like... I just wish they would also show, like, okay, Valier account level, that person, Valier, 1,000. But maybe Valier is the first, this is the first time they were playing Valier and it shows level 1. Because I'm expecting, okay, presumably Valier is going to be good because they're account level 1,000. I got nothing else to judge you based off of. In the past, when everyone was account level 40, you can't, you don't fucking know. Now it's 1,000. Okay, they got, like, experience playing the game. But if, this is for, if it said player level 1, then okay, I won't have such high expectations of that Valera, right? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, what else? Oh, win rate too. That could also be something instead if they want to show the player count level, or they could show the player count level plus the win rate. You know, because that would also show something like, you know, Valera, the one th account level player 1,000, but the win rate with Hero is 0%. I have zero expectations of that Valor player then, right? Or the Vala, Stitches, Cassia, whoever type of shit. Uh, this three-person group. Okay, haha, they got a count level six. Murden, okay, that's, you know, cannon fodder right there. Murden. But this group, maybe they also did a thing when people are grouped up. They show their current win rate as a group. They could show their individual win rate as said hero, but also show their total win rate as that group since they've been playing together like when you join a group once they've been playing what's that win what's their total record together 90% win rate but, oh fuck they got 90% win rate because then stuff would start to make more sense if you added more details and then I wouldn't be so pissed off right off the bat this is why I don't even want to most of the time now I don't even look at the fucking loading screen I used to never look at the loading screen and I started looking at the loading screen to see the account levels but now the account levels it's I've seen lopsided this way and that way count levels and the games are lopsided or they're not lopsided they're even and all this other shit so they added more information to the loading screen okay total player count level 10 billion win rate 90 percent uh, player level five uh, they've been in a group and this is their 10th game and they're nine and one you know, like more details, this would make more sense from looking at the loading screen. Plus, it just makes more interesting to see this and see that. So you have more of an expectation of what's going on, this and that. And they should also bring back where you can show your Hero League portrait as well. Because in the past, they removed it because they want people to be intimidated joining the game. And when they started this whole new system, they didn't show your full number. And they Personally, I found that to be absolutely goddamn annoying that they didn't show the full number on there, on the screen. But now they've got the full number, and you could say some of, you know, this was the first game you're playing, your count level zero or whatever. You see some of a count level thousand, you'd be like, oh, be intimidated that way, right? Type of shit. So it's like, well, if they're going to show the full count level, which they should in the first place, because they, only, they weren't showing all of it, and you'd have to, who knows what fucking portrait color equals what rank you are and even if you did, did know the green purple blue hot pink system you could still be intimidated by oh it's, this person's hot pink with sprinkles on it they've got a count level 1 million even though it doesn't say 1 million officially oh they could be intimidated by it so just bring back the people want to show their hero league portrait blah blah plus it just lets you know like hey if you're being owned by said thing like you don't be cocky get you on your to play more safe or to be more okay it explains why the game's going a certain way because you gotta watch out for a said person you don't need to find out oh this person's putting up the stats you look at the stats screen and go okay this person's really good you can know it ahead of time that this person's good and you should watch out for them because blah 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 and you uh whatever uh, I just think they should add more information on the loading screen it makes more sense and sometimes you could be sitting here for five fucking minutes because some people got bad computers or internet connections or both and it just takes forever to load yeah it wasn't my best the arc game because I didn't play the arc in a month or two but still it was decent there's a couple times I need to die there's like two times I didn't want to well one because stitches yeah, I was like I, I could have left and lived but I stayed make sure that one person died but the bitch Gina got me twice she, 
I think that I'm pretty sure that person took the extended poke range on where the fuck it was that the where she fires that one bolt and does that damage to slow me the fuck down. I'm like, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. No fucking way. Oh, you fucking cunt. But whatever. Ugh, end of video.